Do you want to know how to hit solid iron shots? In this next video, I'm going to take you through the four must-dos to become a great ball striker and hit your iron solid. I'll see you soon. Hey, it's Troy from Hitting It Solid here. So you want to hit um, solid iron shots, hit those compressed shots that go a lot further and straighter. Well, in this video, I'm going to take you through four really great keys with drills on how you can hit solid iron shots every time. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'll be showing you drills after each, after these each four keys, which will really help you cement this into your game. So before we get started, um, please just give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I get it helps me grow the channel and pro produce more great videos to really help us all improve and play better golf. So, so let's get started. So you want to hit those solid iron shots. So one of the first things I look at for someone that's not hitting solid iron shots is really their their balance at their setup and what I mean by that is if I'm set up to a ball like so they'll either have too much weight on their toes leaning forward or too much weight on their heel so from from down the line to the camera it might look something like this so if I've got too much weight on my toes like this quite often what will happen is as I come down I'll tend to come down a lot steeper the shaft will get a lot steeper and it brings that toe into play quite a lot if you've got too much weight in your toes and conversely if you're someone that got way too much weight in your heels it's set up and you'll look something like this with your butt sticking right out you'll tend to come in and really strike a lot of these shots off the heel because you'll have too much weight sitting back you'll have a lot of trouble hitting that center spot of the iron so what's really important at setup is that we get nice and balanced so how do we do that so what I like to do as I got my setup here I like to do a little rocking motion back and forth, just forward back, just till I find that, that sort of sweet spot where I feel nice and balanced. And another great thing you can do is, and obviously you won't be able to see this on camera, I like to pull my toes up in the air, sort of scrunch them up. That way it sort of gets the center of my feet really so I'm sort of standing right on the center of my feet just by scrunching those toes up and I know I'm sort of nice and balanced there I haven't got too much weight forward or too much weight back and by just doing that sort of rocking little drill little checkpoint that'll help you get much better balance it's set up to help you hit those solid irons so the next one I like to do is um, is weight shift when it comes to hitting solid iron shots. Without doubt, the biggest problem with hitting iron shots I see, if I'm setting up to a shot like this, most golfers, they generally make, they might make a pretty good turn, get their weight to this rear side, but they forget to push that weight onto their lead side on the downswing or even another way of looking at it is instead of getting the weight to this side at least getting pressure into that lead foot and being able to rotate in and hit the ball solid so what they'll do is they'll leave their weight back here and they'll try and swing like this end up hitting a lot of knives a lot of thin golf shots and hitting really on the up whereas with irons you want to be hitting more on the down on a much flatter angle to really compress the golf ball so a great drill for practicing this ensure you're shifting your weight and putting pressure into that lead side is if I go to the top as I come down as I'm pushing weight into that lead side I'll demonstrate one here what I want to do is I like to do a little bit of a, a walk after the shot I think this was made famous by some I think it might have been Arnold Palmer or Ben Hogan they'd hit shots and they'd they'd come down and they'd, they'd sort of walk after it like that and by doing that you know you've shifted your weight correctly and really got it to that lead side and hit the ball much much better so if I go to the top and the idea is we come down just do a little bit of a walk that way you know you've moved that pressure to your lead side 
and you're a much better chance of hitting a solid iron shot if you shifted that pressure forward rather than staying back like that you'll never ever be able to hit solid iron shots by leaving that weight on that right side you've got to shift that weight at least be putting pressure into that lead leg on the way down and you should be able to do a little bit of a walk after and that's a great little rehearsal you can do even before you tee off or at the driving range practice that little walk after and that will really help you out so third thing I like to do is work on the follow-through now where a lot of golfers go wrong with their follow-through they have what's called the chicken wing and what it looks like so from face on it looks something like this as they come down as they come through the arms will be bent so I'll show you this from face on and get a better look at it as they come through you can see both arms there are really bent ideally what we want to be doing is having those arms relatively straight and pointing down the target line so from down the line view having those arms both straight not not bent in what's called the chicken wing position because if you get anywhere in that chicken wing position bent extremely difficult to hit solid iron shots so a fantastic drill to practice this is take your setup only swing about halfway back just till you get the hinge there this position here and as we come through try to stop the club here and have both these arms pointing dead straight so as you come back stop there you can practice hitting little half shots like that by getting that nice extension with your hands helps you get into a much better post impact position to hit those solid iron shots so it's hinged there just try to stop it somewhere there it is quite hard the momentum will take you through try to stop it somewhere around there both arms straight you'll hit much much better golf iron shots all right, so the last thing to hit solid iron shots, another must do that you must do, and that's get shaft lean. And what I mean by that is, now I spoke earlier about getting too much weight back here and what it does. If I don't shift that weight correctly, you have no chance of getting shaft lean. You look something like this, where the club head overtakes the handle and you'll be hitting the golf ball like that now to hit a solid iron shot we need that shaft lean and that will look something like this you can see there the handles in front of the ball hands are in front of the ball club heads lagged behind we've got that shaft lean and that's how you compress the golf ball and hit much more solid iron shots really penetrating ball flight that travels a lot further and a lot straighter and that's an absolutely you don't need it with your driver but with your irons you have to get shaft lean and the problems where golfers go wrong is when they get to the top here quite often either they leave their weight here or if they might shift their weight they push too much against the shaft and they they get what's called casting and they'll push against the shaft shaft comes through club head overtakes the hands and the handle and they try to scoop and flip at the golf ball so it's also called flipping too much pushing against the shaft and they flip and try to help the golf ball into the air what we want to be doing is coming down getting those hands forward really compressing into the back of the ball to hit those solid iron shots so a good drill you can practice you don't have to be hitting balls to do this grab a towel now you can do this with um, virtually anything, a golf glove, a, a golf uh, scorecard. Place it, now this depends on your ability. You can place it about anywhere from sort of four or five inches, even three inches behind the golf ball. And what you want to do is practice hitting shots by not hitting the towel. Now if you are someone that left your weight back here and casted lost your wrist angles here you can see 
it's going to be nearly impossible not to hit the towel, uh, to hit, hit the ball first. What we want to be doing to get that shaft lean, we want to be hitting ball first, then turf. All the great players of today and history, they all come down, they all hit the ball first and they take a big divot straight after and that's how you hit your iron shots really solid. So with this drill here, as you come down, you just want to be coming down and I'm obviously just doing a little short little shot there but what you, you want to be coming down is hitting the ball first and then hitting the turf straight after and not hitting that tower and the better you get at this the more you can move that tower a little bit closer up to the ball to get yourself into a position where you're just compressing the golf ball solid every time. And that's a great drill you can practice at home. Like I said, you don't have to be hitting golf balls. You can pretend there's a ball there and just sort of practice hitting, hitting that same spot so you know you're going to be hitting ball first then turf. And that's how you get great, great shaft lean and hit those really beautiful looking iron shots that go so much further and so much straighter as well. So that's the towel drill. So that's the four, four must-do's to hit solid iron shots. I hope that video really helps you out. If it does, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Like I said earlier, please subscribe to the channel. I really want to grow this and be able to provide more great videos for you to really improve your golf game. Now, if you look below this video, there'll be a couple of links to some additional golf instruction. Make sure you check that out. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.